Kiwis probably haven't heard of them, but cult rockers Dead Moon have already shown their loyalty to this country. They turned down the chance to build with Nirvana back in the States to keep their commitment to tour here. We've confirmed the booking and somebody calls up and says that we have something bigger to play. We don't cancel the small one to play the big one. <laughs> we play the small one and tell the big one that we can't do it. Yeah. We've always done that. They've been professional musos since the 60s. It's the best rush in the world to be able to get up in front of uh, people and play live. Always has been, and until that thrill goes away, it's just something that you love, it's a passion. While no one's giving away ages, Fred and Tootie do admit with some pride that they're grandparents. We have a granddaughter who just turned a year in June. And uh, first one, picture. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> but you can't Imagine see. That. <laughs> Whoa! We just had our 25th wedding anniversary in June 14th. Yeah. So we've been married since 1967. And this was our best man. Yes. And he even remembered to give me the ring and everything. Yeah. <laughs> They may be older than your average punk rockers, but they don't like getting stuck in a rut. Their musical future is, like our weather, changeable. There's going to come a time when either the audiences aren't, aren't there for us or we're sick of it, one of the two, and I figure at that time we'll know, uh, we'll call it quits. Yeah, we'll probably still be playing, maybe a different form of we music. Might, but We might go into country and western or something like that, I don't know, or maybe, maybe some really avant-garde jazz. We'll get yeah. Roddy over there to play <laughs> guitar for us. You know. Yeah! 